Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm finally filming one of my most requested hair tutorials and let's just jump right in. So for the curler I'm using today, it is the one and a quarter inch barrel from the T3 Twirl Trio set. And before I get started, I'm roughly blow drying my hair and the blow dryer and the round brush is also from T3. This is the Carolux blow dryer. So the reason why I like to blow dry my hair first is because I feel like it makes my curls look smoother and overall just longer lasting. I also picked up this trick from other professional hairstylists that I follow on Instagram and a lot of them say that they do like to blow dry their hair first because it helps the hair cuticles go a certain way so that when you do go in and curl and style it just looks better and the hairs just flow better together. So. That's just what I like to do. I did wash my hair before I filmed this video and it was about 80 to 90% dry. So I don't section my hair too much, at least not for the bottom part. As you can see, I just sectioned it just halfway around my head and the bottom section of my head, I honestly don't care how it's curled because it really doesn't matter. It's the top part that matters and the sculpting at the end that matters. As long as you curl your hair away from your face, you'll be all right. And You'll see when I get to the top section, that part is the part where I spend just a little bit more time. But the rest of my head, I just curl it away. Sometimes I like to feed it into the curler like this, and sometimes I like to use the curler like a wand. It really depends how I'm feeling, and how long I hold it really depends how I feel that day as well. Um, obviously, if you hold it for a little bit longer, your curls will be tighter, and if you want more of a looser wave, then just don't hold on to it as well. I never really know what I'm gonna do. I feel like this hairstyle turns out different every time for me. So if your hair doesn't hold curls very well, I would recommend that you hold the curler on your hair for a little bit longer and then use a clip to hold the curl on your head until it completely cools down. Now for the top part and the last part, and this part matters the most, I highly recommend that you part it vertically. As you can see, the line goes towards the back of my head and not across my head if that makes sense um, I feel like this way just makes it better it doesn't fall towards your face as much if as if you would have parted your hair horizontally so make sure you part your hair vertically like this and then clip it in and as you can see this section is the only section that I curl the closest to my root so after the curls have completely cooled down, I like to just take them down and start teasing. And I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. I actually started to tease my hair, but then I realized I wasn't recording. But thankfully, I didn't get that far. So um, here we are teasing again. So the dry texturizing spray that I'm using is by Orbe. This thing is amazing. I've had this bottle for a year and I think I, I just hit maybe halfway. And I use this every single time I do my hair. And I feel like this just makes such a big difference. I feel like it makes my teas just, I don't know, it's magic in a bottle. But anyways, so I like to really, really tease my hair. And then I use a powder brush to brush it out. And then now I'm using a styling paste. And this just kind of helps my hair from not being so frizzy, helps define my hair a little bit. And then with a little bit of a light hold hairspray, I'm just teasing the parts that I notice like to fall down first and it's right at my part. So again, I'm just kind of playing around and this is the part where it gets kind of complicated and you really just have to practice and that's really the only way to learn because it took me a long, long time to finally learn how to perfectly sculpt that nice S wave. You just have to keep practicing and I feel like the length and cut of your hair really matters as well. If you have layers or bangs, again, practice will make perfect. And now I'm just sculpting it and spraying it down with hairspray, making sure that it's just nice and smooth. So this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you guys found this helpful. And if you recreate this look, I would love to see. Make sure to tag me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching.